Yes. Okay, cool. All right, guys, uh, why don't we get started? Uh, today's lecture is going to be like all of five minutes. Um, timing. Um, so today we're doing part two of quality control. Uh, so whatever you did last week, you're doing the opposite thing, and whatever the opposite thing was, you're doing the other thing today. Make sense? We'll get it up on the board, don't worry. Um, so, um, yeah, that's basically it. We'll do some more of the stuff that we did last week, getting the quality control stuff ready. Um, Steve is still here? Yes. Uh, but hopefully we got this uh, all figured out. Just a general note, uh, please keep the lab clean, pick up after yourselves if you can. Uh, we don't really have a design staff this year, so we need help from everybody. Uh, state of the art, um, we do have incursion here for size comparisons and other things that you may need. However, from now on, there's no more state of the art that you can use for your own games, no more surrogates. You should be going from your alpha to hopefully you got a design path going towards a beta and you have an idea of what your components may or may not be, but we're, you know, we're not going to use stands anymore. Um, we did this twice now previously and it kind of pushes people to be a little bit faster in building and this class is all about asynchronous building. You can get started early as long as you talk to us and we approve everything. Um, the other thing, uh, if you did, anyone here did the honors contract independent study thing? Anyone? Running? Right. I just want to just verify you know, what you're doing and make sure that you know which TA to talk to and me or me uh, about what your project is and who to connect with to get it done. Uh, business plan, exit strategy, this is something that actually I wanted to bring up. How many people here don't have a teammate member here today? Okay, nothing against the person. How many people have a person that's not here more than once not here right now? Okay, so just think of it. Okay, you weren't here one, more than once? No, no, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Uh, so if anyone in the team is an asshole, no, no. Um, if you guys are helping someone else get an A and you don't like that, do me a favor. First off, let's be humans here. You know, grab a club. No, no. Um, talk to them. Find out what's going on. In reality, there's probably a good chance that something's going on where you, we just may not be aware of it. Case in point, we had a gal that was 21 years old, eldest of five. Mom and dad just had two, two, you know, two kids, so they had twins just born. Mom and dad both lost their job. The 21-year-old was a surrogate mom, went from working part-time to full-time, and was still trying to be a student. Couldn't make any lectures, couldn't make any of the after hour things, struggled to keep up with the team, did not communicate to the team, so that was their fault too. But the team became very hostile against this person to the point where once they found out what was going on, they really felt like assholes, but they could not work with that person anymore. It became so toxic that we had to do something in that team. It sucked, it was really bad, we all felt miserable. And um, there's just not much we could do about that. I was able to save it, and we figured out something that worked for that person and the team. But yeah, you know, let's, let's try and avoid those things. Likewise, you know, there was a time when there was a gal on a team, and she was like carrying the four guys that were on the team, and um, she was just fed up. And it was like about week, about right about now, and she came to me and was kind of sort of complaining. And she tried motivating them, and it didn't really work. Uh, she was just done with it. And two guys I didn't realize were behind me were just sitting there going like this. And I was, you know, I turned around because I could feel them breathing down on me. And, and they're like, we'll take her. And they, she instantly went to a new team. The old team was just like, what the fuck? Because all of a sudden their support network was just gone. Um, third case, uh, we had a troublemaker that was in the class that was just, you know, a real piece of, you know, stuff. And uh, nobody really wanted this person on their team. In fact, when he got kicked off of the team, nobody wanted that person on their team. So think about that. So if you're a person that has missed, talk to your team, figure out what you can do to make up for it. If you're a person that's going to miss, talk to your team. Uh, if there's someone missing here now, talk to that person. Reach out to them first. If that doesn't work, then you know, come see a TA or me and we can start making their life miserable. I mean, um, we can start working through this and figuring out how we can make uh, a change. So go back to your business plans. Go back to your exit strategies and onboarding. Really look at them. Think about it. What if I'm an asshole and I have to get off this team? Is anyone going to want me? What do I got to do to sell myself? Or you know, if, I, if you guys got to get rid of that person, how do you get rid of them? Or if you're the only one doing work, how do you get off that team? Really look at those things, and, and now also think about that business plan as an exit strategy. When you go to pitch your game, what are you going to pitch? Are you looking for investors? Are you looking for someone to buy the game? Are you looking for someone to buy your company? Are you looking to push this yourself? Go to Kickstarter, go to Milton Bradley, or what? Think about what that exit strategy is. Think about your real cost. Prototyping cost, $300 per game. 
production cost, we'll give you a worksheet um, if you're interested. Typically about eight, I don't know, eight to 10 to 12, depending on how many copies you make per game. When you MSRP it, $80 per game. It fluctuates because there's just reality at different points. We'll go a little bit more in business in time. Uh, there was something yesterday I forgot that was really important. I still forgot it yesterday, Wednesday, whenever. Uh, we're gonna do rotations and there's just a few little notes. Um, we forgot to put out there, do something about an artillery cannon. We have some examples. Uh, it's basically a bunch of like circles that you glue together this way. If, you, if you're going to laser cut these, that's a lot of gluing. So maybe make a design of a cannon on the side and we'll glue it up sideways this way. Uh, whatever you guys want to do, it's kind of a free form thing. Um, when you're done, put everything in a one gallon bag. These are the things that you should have in there. Some of the things we gave you. So just make sure all that stuff and all that content's in there. Uh, big question, sorry, is the artillery, but also uh, the tombstones. Don't forget these things. We're going to be laser cutting them like mad. Uh, we need a lot of them in here. Uh, and the, um, the white part of the bottle thing, make sure you cut it off. It's a lot easier to cut it off and deal with things. Uh, so the activity today, this is the rotations. You're going to be doing all these things, craziness, boxes, uh, laser cutting. Blake's behind me over there. Casting, sculpting. Molding, mold making, lots of stuff. Um, and uh, when you're doing your quality control, this is kind of like next week. But right now, if we gave you a bad part, that goes down as a quality control thing. You know, Joseph did something wrong. If we, sorry, sorry. If, uh, if you put it together wrong, quality control yourself, remember that. Uh, you did something wrong, you want to mark it down. But when you quality control somebody else's game, you're going to be looking for stuff they did wrong or we did wrong. We're going to track all that. Um, and it's kind of obvious you guys are making something together and individually you'll uh, QC someone else's. And um, as you go towards beta version in your own game, hopefully you'll have some time to think about this too. All the stuff you're doing, start thinking about the pieces and the, and the parts that are in your game. What do you need to do? What do you need to learn? Uh, pay attention to all those different things. Um, next week it'll be getting it all done, quality controlling, using this tool. Uh, DT2 is due before class. Everything does fit inside of a one gallon bag. And uh, the quality control assignment may be due at the end of class next week. If we have any issues with that, we'll be flexible. Uh, Joseph will just take off points. No, okay. Um, okay, that's it. Is that five? Okay, cool. All right, let's get started, guys. Go back to the quality control rotation. Okay.